camera. <laughs> what property is this? I have no clue. So as long as there's, they're only stacked one deep, uh, they can stay here. But if they're more than one deep, they, they're taking them out. So, um, law enforcement's here. They're trying to uh, make this organized. Uh, since they removed the encampments, they allowed them to put their shopping carts here, but they only get to have them one deep. And um, and so they're like trying to enforce all this. And then they've got city workers here who are like just like removing stuff and taking it into the trash and. <laughs> Hey, silly dog. <laughs> So 24 women can stay in this. I guess they highly screen them. And I didn't even write it down. I didn't make a big deal. Okay, so I'm at Provorala House. Uh, it's, uh, what's today? It's uh, Wednesday? Wednesday, it's September. 25th. 25th, 2013, and uh, I'm in front of Pravarala House, and I just started talking to this guy. What was your name? My name's Manuel, and they call me Junior. Manuel, Junior. Okay, and uh, he was telling me he's a musician. He said, uh, he said, can you help me out? And I'm uh, like, so uh, my question would be like, what do you need? <laughs> I mean, what, what, what would help you? What would help me? Yeah. <clears throat> I, I get this a bit, I'm supposed to be getting this ability because I'm like, Mentally messed up, schizophrenia, bipolar, yeah, and manic depression. But yeah. 
like I, I like to pace myself and do do odd jobs. And, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm you're looking okay. for work. Yeah. Anything just to help me survive out here, you know? Right. So uh, you stay here in this place, or what? Do you Actually, I stay right out in the streets. Uh huh. And and what's that like? Mm. It's different. It's it's a, it's a, it's a, it's somewhat like a, a crazy life, a happy life, an emotional, stressful situation. Yeah. But you just gotta stay strong, you know. So, um, what do you think is the good things about it? The good thing? Yeah. Um, you find real people, man. Yeah. Real you people that, that that know God, that know Christ. That, that. Do you have a? Do you feel a sense of community? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, do you think people like help each other out here? And do you think they or do you think they hurt each other? Oh, or yeah. what's it like? We're very, we're very helpful with each other. But yeah. one thing you gotta know if you do come out here, ever come out here, ever end up out here. Yeah. Which I don't hope for America, but you gotta know respect because that's the main thing that. <clears throat> gets people hurt is disrespect. All right. So, um, what do you think would help your life? What would make your life better, and what would make the majority of these people's lives better? What, what would, what would, if you could say, if you could make a wish right now to help yourself and everyone here, what would it be? I wish for a second chance. For what? A second chance. A second chance. <clears throat> a lot of these people don't don't uh, don't get that second chance at life because. Uh, <laughs> Uh, where the economy is and the so you think if you had a job or something mind, like that the statue mind of certain americans you know they look at the homeless like oh no they're no good they're druggies they're they're users abusers and they just want what they want but in all actuality we just want a fair chance you know? right. just like the next man that's it right hey well i appreciate you talking to me yeah and uh yeah well you can um you can look on my youtube channel hungry bear 9562 Right on. And th this story will probably air eventually. Yeah. Nice talking to you. God bless you guys. <laughs>